Okay, so this is another example of um, solving equations involving the equation of the circle. Um, so here we've got um, a circle equation because this is in a general format of x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Um, so in this case r squared is 25, so the radius of the circle is 5. So we've got a circle with the centre 0, 0 and its radius is 5, so that coordinates will be 5, that coordinates will be 5, that will be negative 5, and that will be negative 5. So let's have a look at what's going on then. So it says, Bill said the line y equals 6. Well, we know the line y equals 6 is horizontal. Every coordinate on here has a y part of 6, so it must cross the y-axis at 6. So it says, um, show that Bill is incorrect. Well, we could sketch the picture, that's one way, and recognise that 6 doesn't cross the circle at all. Or we could put the value in, and we could then see what happens. So x squared plus 6 squared equals 25. Well, 6 squared is 36. Um, that would mean that x squared has to be equivalent to a negative. Well, we know that squaring always produces a positive result, so that ain't going to happen. So either way, you can explain why Bill was incorrect. Picture or through putting the value in and recognising that to, to have a squared value as a negative doesn't happen, so therefore it can't be correct. The next part of the question says by eliminating y, so we're clear here, we're eliminating y, find the solutions to these simultaneous equations. So elimination means that I want the equation to just have x's in it. I don't need the y there. So I'm replacing this y squared with the y value here. So sometimes with these it gives you maybe 2y plus x equals 7. Um, we need to make y the subject. So when it says eliminate by y, we make anything they give us here y equals. This has been generous, they've already done the y equals bit for you, um, but just be aware that it could be something like this, and they just make that become y equals and substitute back into here. So replace the y then. So we've got x squared plus um, this is a two term function, so therefore we must put it in a bracket when we're substituting. So 2x minus 2, we're squaring, but it's the y squared, and that equals 25. So here we've uh, got to remember that this bracket is being squared, so it's the same as saying it's 2x minus 2 times 2x minus 2 equals 25. Well, you'll have your own ways of multiplying two brackets out. Um, lots of people like the grid method, so we're timesing. So 4x squared minus 4x minus 2 times 2x and the minus 4x. Negative 2 times negative 2, we need to remember it's plus 4. So from here, we can see that we've got 4x squared. So we change the brackets into an expanded form. So 4x squared, a minus 4x and another minus 4x, put them together, it makes, take away 8x, negative 8x, and then we've got a plus 4, and that equals 25. Um, it's saying find the solutions, so therefore we're having to solve this. So we need to get x as a subject, so we need to rearrange this as a quadratic. Again, really important, so let's simplify first. x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared, minus 8x plus 4 equals 25. To solve a quadratic, um, we always need equals 0 on one side, so we can make this 0 dead easy by subtracting 25 from both sides. So we end up with 5x squared minus 8x, take away 21, equals 0. Uh, this is on a non calculated care paper, so therefore um, we look to see whether this factorises first, um, or then we complete the square. But uh, it does factorise, so that means because there's no common factor, it's going to be two brackets. Um, we need to make 5x squared by multiplying the two fronts, so 5x times x. And the two end bits have got to make 21 and combine with this 5x and x to make negative 8x. Well, we can see that if we use 3 and 7, um, that's likely to be the best combination. I could have used 1 and 21. Um, I need a negative here, so one of these has got to be negative, one of them has got to be positive. Um, just a quick sum in your head could see that if I do a 3 and a 7, 5 3s make 15, negative 15, Add the 7 makes negative 8. So my solution for this will be 5x plus 7, x minus 3. Then we get the x values by making each of the brackets equal to 0, um, because the only way we can make 0 from multiplying is something times 0. 
So if we take each bracket one by one, so we need to see what the solution will be when this bracket is zero. 5x plus 7 equals zero, rearrange to make x the subject, so we subtract 7 from both sides and then divide by 5. So x is going to be subtract 7 from both sides, so we'll give me negative 7, and then divide by the 5 gives me that. So x is going to be negative 7 fifths. This bracket here, it tells me that x minus 3 equals 0, and that's basically take 3 across by adding it, so x is 3. So these are the two x solutions. So we've got x is 3, or we've got x is negative 7 fifths. So we've then got to find the y values. Well, we've got an equation here that tells me that y is equal to twice the x value, take away 2. So if I take this one first, I'll do two lots of negative 7 fifths, and then I'm going to take away 2 from that. Uh, this is going to be negative 14 fifths. If I turn this into fifths as well, so negative 10 fifths, it will help me to see what's going on better. Um, so I've got negative 14 take away 10, so that's going to be negative 24. Talk about fifths. And then if I divide that by 5, uh, and I get 4 and 4 fifths left over. That's a negative, of course. So the answer here is when negative 7 fifths are x, then this will be negative 4 and 4 fifths. And if I use x as 3, then the y tells me to double that and take away 2. Well, 2 3s are 6, take away 2, 4. So when x is 3, y is 4. So those are the solutions to the simultaneous equations involving a quadratic and a linear function. And basically what that's telling me is that there was a circle of radius 5, where the centre was 0, 0, and we've got an equation y equals 2x minus 2, so that means it's going to be doing something like this, and those two points are these coordinates, 3, 4, and negative 7 fifths, and negative 4, and 4 fifths. So that's where this uh, solving simultaneous equation involving the quadratic linear comes from. Uh, it's a line crossing a circle, uh, real example, space travel, orbits, lines, points of intersection where you might want to meet and things like that.